Hey everybody and welcome back to Crypt of the Necrodancer. So it's been a while since we played. I think the last time I recorded any was like summer of last year. It's a long time ago. It was during the Necrothon. I played quite a bit but I was very much a noob back then. So at the time I, I requested a code from the developer Ryan. I was like, Ryan can I get a copy of the game? He was like, yes. Then a week later he said, someone has dropped out a Necrothon. Do you want to take part? And I was like, uh, yes but I'm bad but I'll do it anyway. And I've done it and I didn't come last. That doesn't mean I didn't come second last, or third last. I came one of those positions though. Anyway, um, we're gonna do some Crypt of the Necrodancer now the game has come out of early access. And shit's changed, yo! Everything looks, you know, there's more stuff to do, there's more stuff to see. I don't remember, like, there being, you know, as many rooms to visit in the starting area as there were now. I've just done a couple of runs, got myself to zone 2, um, and, you know, we've got, we've got some diamonds to spend. So if you've never seen Crypt of the Necrodancer before, it is a roguelike rhythm game. So it's turn-based, sort of. It's turn-based, but the turns are, you know, kind of controlled by rhythm of the song that you hear. You can see the heart down the bottom. That kind of tells you when to move, you to stick to the rhythm. If you lose your rhythm, you use, you lose your, your, like, kind of, your, um, modifiers and stuff. And, um, you know, we're gonna play some of this to just have some fun and watch me be bad at the game. I'm in no way an expert. I haven't played since last year. I don't know what the what the current meta is. I hate using that word, but I don't know what people are doing in the game. I do know, however, I spend diamonds on stuff to, um, to basically add items to the item pool within the game. So we can buy, like, you know, magic items, we can buy, um, we can buy health upgrades and stuff. So I've got nine diamonds, so what I'm gonna do is probably buy you another heart container. Um, and I think we'll maybe buy, is the coin modifier worth it? I don't know. Extra chests, though? See no harm in there being an extra red chest. Let's get some weapons as well. So we've got six left. Let's buy you. So we get the plate armor and the rapier. Mr. Rapier. And um, what we'll probably do in the future is maybe do a couple of daily challenges. I'm not sure. But we'll do the all zones mode, I think. So zone two unlocked. And um, yeah, I guess all zones is the way to do so. Um, all zones mode. Complete all zones in one run. All lobby upgrades are unlocked. Oh, no. Maybe, maybe that's not the thing to do. Maybe we'll just continue on with what we're doing. I, I, see, the way that I used to do it before is I used to go in zone one and then go from there. Now that we've got zone two unlocked, it should be fine. Let's get our rhythm. I'll take a plate armor to start. So we start with a dagger. We got a shovel. The shovel we use to dig through wall. Like so. We've got a bomb. Shopkeeper, give me that glorious singing voice, my friend. So the shopkeeper, he sings. He does. He's got a wonderful voice on him. Now, I can already feel the taxation on thy brain of having to keep rhythm and speak. Monkey, get out my fucking sight, you damn monkey. So slimes. Green slimes stay still. Blue slimes move in a kind of up and down pattern. There's a diamond in this wall. So you'll see my coin multiplier, I'll probably lose that. The coin multiplier also controls damage multiplier, I think, in certain weapons. As far as I can remember. What I'd be looking to get right now is the health shrine. There's a shrine that's got like a medical symbol on it. Oh, hello. If we find it, we'll go back and grab the dagger, because what it does is it resets your weapon to like the starting weapon. Okay. So as you'll see with this weapon, we dart forward by a... by a block. Which could be bad for us, because I don't want to dart into an enemy. Because that could be bad. There we go. I'm, I'm not the worst player in the world, but, you know, I have played the game before, but, you know, I'm in no way an expert. <laughs> Bit of a torch. Helps us see a little further, as you can see. And really all I'm trying to do is unlock stuff. Hmm, that's gonna push me. I'm not happy about that, but we killed the boss. So the aim is kill the boss on the, the floor. Progress to the next area. And I think we actually get a damage bonus from being a block away. So when we do the lunge attack, we actually hurt more. Rather than being one block away. I think that's how the, the rapier works. I'm trying very hard to remember. Now I'm just having a swatch to see if there's any hidden blocks. Some blocks have like an X on them and you can use them to like warp to different areas, get different weapons and stuff. Is it worth buying any of this shit? 
I'll keep my money. Having five hearts is quite nice. I could buy the apple, but I don't really feel the need for it at the moment. I'm going a little too fast. I have what's referred to as red light syndrome in recording. So when you're recording music, sometimes when you're recording an artist, you put on the recording, they see the live, you know, we're, we're recording live thing, and they begin playing faster or out of time. And that happens with me. Monkey. So, you know, I, I can see that I'm recording a video and instantly I'm going way too fast. Cheese! Okay, cheese is good. Cheese is good. There we go. Yes, yeah, so, so if we have like a block of distance away from the enemy, we seem to get a better attack. Okay, nice. Handled. I have no idea. Um, there's something over here. I can't get through. Oh, there's a special block though. Why am I digging through there? I can't do that. Tom. Yeah, this is more my kind of pace. This pace, and then when you get to the next area with the kind of dubby music, that's where I get, that's where I go into my stride. Who are you? Shrines. I don't understand the shrines. 50. You must give me a weapon. You give me cheese? Oh no, you replace it with a scroll of gigantism, which means that we can like move through walls and stuff. I don't know, I can't even fucking remember. I can't even fucking remember. It's a diamond though. So the game, the aim here is, oh wait, did I get a monocle? I think I did. So the aim here is to um, collect diamonds to unlock more stuff, increase the item pool. I don't really feel the need to change our armor, I don't think, but um, helps with some terrain, might as well. Explorer's boots. I want a better torch, so I can see into rooms a bit clearer. Oh, there's a chest down here. With a scroll of something? Freeze enemies, I'll keep my cheese. Maybe that'd be a reason to buy a bag or a satchel or something, so I can hold more than one item. And you'll see we've got bombs as well, bombs we can use to blow stuff up. Like, I could blow up the shop if I wanted to. Why is Red Man not moving? I don't feel like I've fought the boss. Did we? Oh, it was the bat, wasn't it? Aye, we done the boss. What's this? I guess I have to blow that up. I, I, the, the boxes, the crates are new to me. Crates are very new to me, so I don't really know what to do with them. I'm assuming that you blow them up with a bomb, but... Um, I suffer from too good to use syndrome at the moment. We're handling ourselves well. I'm, I'm not doing too bad. Ah, well. Titanium shovel. As you'll see, very effective at digging through shit. So I think the way that it works is like titanium weapons might be the best, or maybe it's obsidian weapons. I, I can't, honestly can't remember for the life of me. Trying to get a bit of extra damage on these suckers. So it looks like when we've got two blocks away, we do two hearts of damage. Who's our boss? Is it Red Dragon? Ah, uh, I really don't like the whip. Hmm. Have to think about this. Okay. Thinking worked for once. <laughs> Brain, thank you for not fucking me. Well, thank you for killing yourself, I guess. So those um, skulls on the ground are bad. I hear them. Oh, no. Okay. Oh. Steady. <laughs> Don't fuck it up, Tam. 
You're doing well. Well, I mean, for like my first day back playing the game, I think I'm doing all right. It's still the first area, though. I'll tell you what, though, using a mechanical keyboard really helps. Before I was using a shitty old membrane keyboard. What have we got? Glass is scary. Um, I think, I think, but you'll obviously correct me in the comments. I'll eat my cheese. You correct me in the comments if I'm wrong, and I welcome any feedback or tips or anything, you know. I, I don't care about the game being spoiled, because I've seen so much of the game in speedruns and stuff. So feel free to give me hints and tips. But I think what happens with glass weapons is if you miss a beat, or you get hit, it breaks. I think, or maybe it's if you just get hit. I think we're done here. Right, boss time. Oh, no. I like the boss intros, though. I suck at death metal. We're probably dead here. Oh no. He's got a shield. When you hit the shield, he spawns bats. Okay. Okay, uh, it wasn't a clean fight, but I done it. I done it, mom. Dad okay. Was always coming and going I don't know if this finishes place. or if it's just a cutscene. This time hmm. he seemed more excited. He said he'd found it, some great treasure. It's a good old beard you've got there, friend. When I was older, I found the notes he left behind. Mm-hmm. Directions to a graveyard. Uh huh. Uncle Eli tried to stop me. He's got a shovel for a hand. Dad had been gone for two years. I had to find him. I don't know if this continues on. Ah, so, so, right, so. Return to lobby, so, right, okay, so we've done the first zone, we can do the second zone next, I think. Hello. Um, what do we buy? Longsword, armor. At this point, I'm just kind of upgrading my world, you know, adding stuff in. Merlin, what you got, friend? Might as well. And then I'll invest in maybe the sword. And do that. That's our diamond spent. Right, okay, what we can do is go into zone two. So I guess I guess all zones mode is what you're supposed to do to get through the game. And it just starts with all the stuff unlocked anyway. Which makes sense. And then you can just do the individual zones on their own. All zones mode seeded? Interesting. There's level editors and shit, and there's local co-op, and there's- oh, it's good. I'm enjoying myself. I'm enjoying the fact that I'm back and playing the game. And I kind of have a rough idea of what's going on. It's nice to start back into a game and know kind of roughly where you are. Even although I suck, still. Should we do a daily challenge? Oh, fuck it. Let's just do the daily challenge. Um, so daily challenge, complete all zones in one run. All players get the same dungeon. Resets daily at midnight GMT. Continue. Yes. Right. I'm very tempted by that. Not tempted by that. So I believe the score is based upon gold. That scares me. There we go. Okay. <laughs> right, let's uh, not fuck it up now. This is a health one. Nah. I don't I don't know what they do. Well, I know what they do, apart from the drum. The drum scares me. Be good. Obsidian torch? Nice. If I had a bomb, you can blow up the gold around the shop and use the gold to buy stuff. You can also cheese the- I, I think you can still do it, I'm not sure, but I think you can use the red dragon to kill the shopkeeper still. Red bat. Red bat was always my fucking worst nightmare in this game. Just concentrate. 
See, it always gets me. <laughs> no, there's, there's probably a defined, like, best way to do it, but I think that the Red Bats feel like they're RNG. Come back. Come back to me. We've still got a boss to fight as well. The worst thing here would be fighting the boss, or not fighting the boss and then going to the next area, and it gives you, like, a kind of boss encounter at the start. Okay, this is bad. Scared of the bat. Okay. Right, we're still alive. I could go back and buy that weapon. I think we'll just leave. Oh, the pressure's on, Tam! Don't don't fucking choke. I'm choking already though, I can feel it in my in my bones. Holster. It's a much easier way to deal with the skeletons. I'm playing it very safe because I don't trust myself. Don't trust myself at all. Okay. I'm starting to get into the rhythm of it again, though. I'm remembering. Remember your training. Oh, no. <laughs> I knew I'd fuck myself when I went up instead of down. Damn! Ah, oh, well. Well, let's see the leaderboards. I'll be very bad. Um. Now, oh, balls. Well, let's try in all zones mode again. Um. We'll do some more dailies in the future, though, when I'm not the worst player of all time. The good thing is I've got people like, you know, Hoffington and Fubzo and a couple of people that I know that are very good at the game. So I'll be calling upon them for the pro tips. Gold ring, I think that means you get more gold from enemies. I need to be more aware of... Oh, fuck you. Knew it. Might be a good weapon or something. Uh, blood dagger means we get life steal from enemies, I think. That could be very good. I'm not. I think it's every six enemies if I'm remembering properly. So the next enemy should give us some healing. Come back here, you damn skeleton. No? Maybe it's like eight. I have no idea. <laughs> maybe it's 12. Or maybe I am wrong. Oh, there we go. We got some healing. Maybe it's just random now. I'm pretty sure it's incremented by number of kills. I think I have to. Let's go big. Let's go big. It's a terrible idea. Or is it though? Is it the greatest idea I've ever had? Oh, fucking bats. Okay, so the broadsword attacks the three blocks in front of you, so like, the block directly in front of you. Red man, please. And then the two to the side of those blocks. Oh my god, it's bad. Oh, you fucking... Oh, no, no, no. I'm getting ahead of myself, Tom. Calm down. Calm down, big chap.
Now, this is what it used to be like. Now I remember what it used to be like. I'm still having a lot of fun with the game, though, even though I suck. I haven't even seen the last zone yet. I've only seen up to zone 3. I've tried to kind of stay clear of any spoilers of zone 4. Um, nah. Not worth it for just an apple, I don't think. So I guess we'll do, like, all zones? And maybe do a couple- maybe do- oh, fucking... And then maybe do like a, you know, a bit of unlocking at the start and then doing all zones after it. If people are into it though, you know, let me know in the comments and stuff if you want to see more. Necro Dancer from my bad fucking self. Okay, that was slightly better. <laughs> slightly better. Not great. The sucking continues. What are you then? Are you like a... No, you're just a... A piece of, you know, the terrain. Decoration. So now we finish the boss. If we don't go through the exit, it'll take us through a door anyway, so we can go and explore. There were no weapons in there, were there? No. Oh, well, there's a door up here, though. Also, I miss you. Right, gain shovel, bigger levels. Gain items, tougher enemies. Become incorporeal? Oh my god. I might as well. What did we get? We got a head thing. Is there any way to check your items and what they do? I'm not sure if- there probably is. Damn. I have no idea what the fuck that is or how you get it. It looks like it's got a big old dirty eyeball on it. Right, well we've got one and a half hearts. The dream. Hmm. What the fuck is that in the middle? It's a torch of some kind, and... Well, I can't afford any of this. I can spend one heart to get the turkey leg or whatever the fuck it is, but I don't know how much he heals you for. I guess we're buying Das Broadsword. Can I buy that? No. I was always a fan of the, the, the long sword. So it hits two blocks ahead of you, but I don't think it has any like kind of damage bonus for that. Extra money always good. So this is like basically the same mode as the daily challenge mode. I always thought the zones mode like carried on. Damn. The red bats will kill me. I know what, I'm dead. Maybe not. The comeback is on! Oh no. Okay. <laughs> oh no, okay, oh no, I'm dead. Damn. Damn. Damn, it's a lot. I think that'll do for today. I'm not the greatest player, but as I said, if you want to see more, let me know with a, you know, a comment or so. And um, tips are always welcome, and I will see you next time.